Our uh, next guest is the creator of the Life in Hell comics and his animated cartoon special entitled The Simpsons Roasting on an Open Fire will be on the Fox Network next Sunday. Ladies and gentlemen, please say hello to Matt Groening. How you doing? Good, how are you? Uh, you know, I'm all right. <laughs> Where are you from? What part of the country are you from? I'm originally? from uh, Portland, Oregon. Portland, Oregon. And uh, in, in, your, in your work there, do we see a reflection of what your own family life was when you were a kid or maybe is now? Yeah, that's what my family looked like exactly. <laughs> <laughs> no, they weren't like that at all. Yeah. And uh, you started doing this kind of thing, cartooning and, and, and writing captions pretty early? Oh, yeah. From, from the moment uh, I went into school, uh -huh. uh, the first day of school, I started doodling. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, how did you know that you were good at this kind of thing? I guess it's uh, self-explanatory. The kids it? loved it and the teachers hated it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and did, did you ever enter any of those contests they would have in the, uh, like the, the weekly reader magazines, the uh, uh, draw this? Yeah, and I won. I won. What one. was the contest? Uh, it was a finish the short story uh, contest, Jack and Jill magazine. Oh, I see. And how old were you then? Eight years old, all right. National Magazine. Yeah. Won a short story contest. Wow. And what, yeah. <laughs> what, what was the short story? Well, uh, it was a finish the short story contest, and it was it started out, little Davey was playing out in the backyard, and he was tired playing cowboy, so he decided to go inside and go up into the attic and pretend to be a ghost. Mm -hmm. So he ran up the stairs, and he opened the door, and he went inside, and then he bumped his head on the ceiling, and he said, now I know what I want to be. Mm -hmm. And then you finish the story. Finish the story. Yeah. How, how long did it have to be? Well, I, I don't know. It, was, it wasn't very long. It was yeah. eight years old. You know, <laughs> it was a very, very short story. Anyway, most of the kids wrote, oh, I, he wanted to be a cowboy. Now I want to be a cowboy. Now I want to be a fire truck. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, you know how you want to be a vehicle sometimes yeah, instead sure. of a. Yeah. And uh, in mine, I said, he hit his head, and he died. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> they, they nailed the, sh the door shut to the attic, the family uh, did. <laughs> and once a year on the anniversary, he came down and ate dinner in silence. <laughs> <laughs> and, and the killer last line was, he was a ghost. Uh -huh. <laughs> he was entombed in the attic. Yes. This is eight years old? Yeah. And oh. you won the Jack and Jill contest. Well, you know, I was always wondering because I was watching Casper the Friendly Ghost and... and Friends of mine pointed out, if there's Casper the Friendly Ghost, right. where is the body of Casper the Friendly Boy? Uh -huh. Right? I mean... <laughs> <laughs> I, I, never, I never got that far in my analysis of Casper. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, that's uh, why I'm a cartoonist. And, and, and this is odd. And nobody on the Jack and Jill editorial staff, well, there's a brain trust, nobody in that group <laughs> thought this is the work of a disturbed young man. No, I got rewarded for it. In fact, <laughs> well, actually... I thought it was a reward. At first, they came, somebody from Jack and Jill magazine came to Portland, and they said... <laughs> and was they, it Jack or was it Jill? <laughs> um, I'm not sure. Yeah. Anyway, he, uh, uh, they put me on Romper Room uh -huh. as a prize. Oh, you, as a little kid, was that, it must have been a pretty big deal for you. Were you excited about it? was eight, that? Yeah. not four. No. <laughs> 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 so damn testy about it. I don't, no, I don't know still, what the cutoff level I'm is for still, romper room. <laughs> well, that's for little baby kids, you know. I, and I was embarrassed. I thought I was being punished. <laughs> okay. Uh, anyway, well, congratulations. Well, I'm sorry you. I didn't know you then. Uh, and then, and then, as you uh, your uh, education uh, career grew, you you uh, also were good as in art, right? Which were you better at, writing or, or the art? Uh, well, that's why I was a cartoonist uh, back then. I was uh, good at. Both, I yeah, guess, yeah. or not so good at either. Yeah. I don't know. So I just kept on doing it. Uh, my friends and I, we sat in the back row. We kept on getting in trouble with the teachers, and uh, we drew comics that they didn't like. You know, and this is, went on through high school. Right. And I said, "You teens, you're just a bunch of teens for filth." <laughs> and uh, that's what one teacher said. Yeah. And uh, so we said, "Well, we're not teens for filth." No, of course not. No. So we formed our own political party called yeah. the Teens for Decency. Yeah. Uh -huh. And our motto was, "If you're against decency, what are you for?" And we ran for uh, office, and we all won. Congratulations Thank again. You. Thank you. So you. You're like the American dream. Yeah, well, you know, I hate, you know, the jerks that always run for office in, mm -hmm. in high school? Yeah. I said, I'm going to do that. <laughs> I'm going to be one of those guys, yeah. you know, somebody who sits in the back of the class who finally gets it, you know. Right. And, and you, you're you now living in Portland? you have a family of your own? No, I live in uh, Venice. Oh, Venice. Oh, well, now that's nice, isn't it? It's interesting. They're in uh, California. Yeah, it's new age. Yeah. You know, they're... 
The woman down the street does gong therapy right. very early in the morning, yeah. and bangs a gong. Yeah. Um, I've tried it. It's really good, though. Is it, is it a... Um, I, I've heard that it can be dangerous, that part of town there. Well, you can, if you're careful, you mm -hmm. know, it's not so bad. This guy came to the door last summer, late one night. Uh, I was by myself. My wife had left, left me alone. And, uh, <laughs> Hard to figure. <laughs> <laughs> and this guy comes to the door and he says, you got to help me. It's my little brother, Timmy. He's been badly hurt. He's at the hospital. Oh, but they need a deposit of 55 bucks and I'm five dollars short <laughs> and I went, oh go wait how can I help you yeah. and I pulled out and I gave him uh, I only had a 20 so I gave him a 20 and he whoosh, he was gone right. and then I went uh oh wait a minute yeah. wait a minute hospital deposit you're right. saying to yourself what <laughs> yeah what yeah. what is that and my wife comes home and she goes you idiot yeah. you idiot and I felt really stupid and then about an hour later there's another knock on the door, and the guy's back. Mm -hmm. And he goes, I just want to thank And I'm going to my wife, see? Yeah. See? It was real. It was real. And he says, thanks a lot. Timmy's going to be okay. Uh, uh, I really like to thank you. And I stepped out on the porch to shake his hand. He goes, just one thing. The cab, it needs change. The guy needs change. <laughs> come, come with me. Come with me. And I follow him around the corner where it's really dark. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, then I realized, whoa, whoa yeah, wait this a minute. Could be trouble. Another trick. Yeah. 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 So then I moved. Uh -huh. Right? So you, did, you didn't pay him the cab money? No, I ran back inside. Okay. All right, good so idea. then I moved a uh, few months later, and I'm sitting up late at night. There's a knock on the door. It's the same guy. Mm -hmm. I only was a few blocks mm -hmm. away. He's at the door again. I was so excited because you know, now I got him. Yeah. He doesn't recognize you. He doesn't recognize right. me. So uh, I run to my wife who's in bed, and I say, it's the guy. He's back. Call the police. We'll call, stall him. <laughs> and I was really excited. And she goes, no. She says, I'm locking the door. I don't care what I hear. I'm not going to unlock this door. Yeah. And uh, I went back out, and I said, uh, left my wallet with my wife who went to the store. Please wait. Yeah. Let's in. Right. And uh, my wife called the police and said there was an armed robbery in progress. <laughs> and so cop cars came from every direction. Right. And Shooting. the guy took off. Uh -huh. And they almost arrested me for, for making a false. <laughs> well, see, there you go. Yeah. That's what happens. Yeah. Uh, so your big, your big uh, holiday special, are you excited about this? Yeah. The clip you showed wasn't actually from the special. Well, it was not from the special. It's an outtake. Oh, I'm sorry. But yeah. uh, a blooper. Uh, things like that in the yeah, special. Yeah, things like that. that yeah. Is, yeah, is this your first, uh, uh, like it's a half an hour show? Yeah. First long half. form animated cartoon? Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. And then it goes on uh, regularly uh, in January. Good for you. Oh, it'll be a series then. A series, right. Yeah. That's raining. We'll be right back, folks. <laughs>